Welcome to Solopedia. In this video, we will take you on a tour of the Amalfi Coast, a magical place that captures hearts, so stay with us to learn more about this beauty. If you are looking for a dreamy destination in Italy, you should consider visiting the Amalfi Coast, a jewel of the Mediterranean. This stunning coastal stretch in southern Italy is a place where dreams come to life. With its dramatic cliffs, sparkling azure waters, and charming towns, it's no wonder that the Amalfi Coast has become a coveted destination for travelers from around the globe. Immerse yourself in the vibrant colors of the landscape, indulge in mouth-watering cuisine, and discover the rich history that permeates every corner. Amalfi Town is the main town of the Amalfi Coast and the one that gives its name to the area. It is a beautiful small town that has a rich history as a maritime republic and a cultural center. The main attraction of Amalfi Town is Duomo Square, where you can admire the impressive Cathedral of Amalfi, a masterpiece of Romanesque and Arab Norman architecture that dates back to the 9th century. The cathedral has a striking facade with a mosaic of Christ Pantocrator and a bronze door from Constantinople. Inside, you can visit the crypt of Saint Andrew, the patron saint of Amalfi. You can also climb up the 62 steps to reach the Cloister of Paradise, a beautiful courtyard with arches and columns that houses some ancient sarcophagi. Another must-do in Amalfi Town is to walk along the Path of Gods, a scenic hiking trail that connects Amalfi to Positano. The Path of Gods offers stunning views of the coast and the sea, as well as the opportunity to explore some ancient villages and churches along the way. The Path of Gods is about 8 kilometers long and takes about 3 hours to complete. It is not very difficult but it requires good shoes and some stamina. You can start from either Amalfi or Positano and take a bus back to your starting point. Ravello is another charming town on the Amalfi coast that is famous for its artistic and cultural heritage. It is perched on a hill above Amalfi and offers panoramic views of the coast and the mountains. Ravello is also known for its music festival, which takes place every summer and attracts world-class musicians and performers. It has two main attractions, Villa Simbrone and Villa Ruffalo. Villa Simbrone is a stunning villa that dates back to the 11th century and was renovated in the 19th century by an English lord. Villa Simbrone has a beautiful garden with statues, fountains, and flowers, as well as a terrace that overlooks the sea and is called the Terrace of Infinity for its breathtaking view. Villa Ruffalo is another villa that dates back to the 13th century and was once owned by a wealthy family. Villa Ruffalo has a Moorish style and a colorful garden that inspired Wagner to compose his opera Parsifal. You can visit both villas and enjoy their beauty and history. Positano is probably the most famous and picturesque town on the Amalfi Coast. It is built on a steep hillside and has a colorful array of houses, shops, cafes, and hotels that overlook the sea. It is also a popular destination for tourists who want to enjoy its beach, its nightlife, its shopping, and its cuisine. Positano has many attractions but one of them is especially worth mentioning, the Church of Santa Maria Assunta. This church is located in the center of Positano and has a distinctive dome covered with majolica tiles. The church was built in the 10th century and has a Byzantine icon of the Virgin Mary that is said to have arrived in Positano from Constantinople on a ship. 
The church also has some beautiful paintings and sculptures that adorn its interior. Atrani is one of the smallest and most authentic towns on the Amalfi Coast. It is located just a few minutes' walk from the more popular and crowded Amalfi, but it has a much more tranquil and laid-back atmosphere. It has a lovely beach, a charming square with cafes and restaurants, and a maze of narrow alleys and stairways that lead to the ancient church of San Salvatore de Barecto. Atrani is also known for its traditional festivals, such as the Regatta del Republish Marinar in June and the Festa di Santa Maria Maddalena in July. Priano is another quiet and charming town on the Amalfi Coast, situated between Positano and Amalfi. The town has a rich history dating back to the Roman era. It was once an important center for the production of silk, and the town's rich history can be seen in its architecture and cultural heritage. The town was founded by the Romans, and it played an important role in the medieval era as a center of maritime trade. During the 19th century, Priano experienced a period of growth and prosperity, thanks in part to its thriving silk industry. Priano offers stunning views of the sea and the mountains, as well as a rich artistic and cultural heritage. It is home to several churches, such as the San Gennaro Church with its beautiful majolica tiles, and the San Luca Church with its precious paintings and sculptures. It is also a great place for hiking and exploring nature, as it has several trails that lead to hidden coves, caves, and waterfalls. Maiori is one of the largest and most lively towns on the Amalfi Coast. It has a long and sandy beach, which is rare on this rocky coast, as well as a promenade with shops, bars, and restaurants. It also has a lot of historical and cultural attractions, such as the Norman Tower that overlooks the sea, the Santa Maria a Mare Church with its impressive bell tower, and the Collegiata di Santa Maria a Mare with its beautiful cloister. Maiori is also famous for its lemon groves, which produce the delicious limoncello liqueur. Sitara is a small fishing village on the Amalfi coast, renowned for its seafood and its anchovy sauce called Kalatura di Alisai. It has a picturesque harbor with colorful boats, a pebbly beach with clear water, and a medieval tower that serves as a museum of fishing traditions. Sitara also has several restaurants that serve fresh fish and local specialties, such as spaghetti with kalatura di alisai or tuna with lemon sauce. Vietri Sol Mare is the first town you encounter when you arrive on the Amalfi Coast from Salerno. It is famous for its ceramics production, which dates back to the 15th century. It has many shops and workshops where you can buy or admire the colorful and artistic pottery that decorates the town. Vietri Sol Mare also has a beautiful beach with turquoise water, a Baroque church with a tiled dome, and a museum of ceramics that showcases the history and techniques of this craft. Conca dei Marini is one of the most romantic and secluded towns on the Amalfi Coast. It is perched on a cliff overlooking the sea, surrounded by lush vegetation and lemon trees. It has a small beach that can be reached by boat or by stairs, as well as a natural wonder, the Emerald Grotto. The Emerald Grotto is a cave that can be visited by boat or by elevator, where you can admire the stalactites and stalagmites that reflect the green light of the water.
Furor is another hidden gem on the Amalfi Coast. It is not really a town, but rather a collection of houses scattered along the cliffs. It is known for its fjord, a narrow inlet of water that cuts through the rocks and creates spectacular scenery. Furor also has a bridge that spans over the fjord, where every year in July there is an international diving competition. It also has several murals that adorn the walls of the houses, making it an open-air art gallery. Whether you seek adventure, relaxation, or simply a moment of pure serenity, the Amalfi Coast promises an unforgettable experience. So come, let the Amalfi Coast captivate your senses, ignite your imagination, and leave an indelible mark on your soul. This is a place where dreams come alive and memories are made. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Amalfi Coast. Until we meet again, may the spirit of this enchanting paradise stay with you forever.